Ew, porridge. It's so disgusting and tasteless. Don't want it. And noise, but there's no fight? Grandma, I'm coming. The photo is great. Little sister. Who's I'm shouting? I'm coming. <gasps> oh, chef. I'm running. I'll flip over. What is it? Why is my grandson crying? This forest is just awful. Then try this. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Well, cook whatever you want. What does my grandson want? French fries. Great. I'll cook the most delicious potatoes. First, you need to pour the oil into the pan. And now cut the potatoes and fry them properly. Grandma, it doesn't really look like french fries. <laughs> For the best. <laughs> then I'll win this round. <laughs> so, I'm going to peel the potatoes. Oh, um, it didn't work out very well. We need a special oh. peeler. Yes! Now it's going to work. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's how you need to cut potatoes. One, two, and you're done. And no one makes fries in a frying pan. After all, this is a deep fryer. We put potatoes and fry it in oil. There we go. Just look at this golden crust. Great. Oh, where are my potatoes? Did I peel it all off? What do I do? Don't worry, dear. But what potatoes are without sauce? Ketchup is not for me. I'm the chef. And all the best chefs in the world cook tomato paste on their own. Well, here's a masterpiece. Perfect french fries. Everyone has already fried the potatoes and I have these skins. What do I do? I know. Why suffer if you can just order delivery? And here are the potatoes. Oh. Mm, homemade potatoes. French fries from the chef. Wow, so many delicious things. Except for this one. Mm, and these potatoes look delicious. I'll try it. Oh, how spicy! I don't want spicy. What do we have here? Mmm, delicious! I like these french fries! Mm. Hooray, I won! That's it! So, so, what are we cooking now? I want scrambled eggs! Ah. Easy! Every dish should be cooked with love. Therefore, my scrambled eggs will be in the shape of a heart. You need to fry the sausages and then break the egg. It turned out just wonderful. Awesome! The bigger the fire, the faster it gets fried, right? The stove to the maximum, and now the egg. Oh, um, the shell has fallen. Maybe it'll be unnoticeable. It's even better this way. No, you can still see the shell. We need to come up with something. I'll mix it up. Oh, honey, something's obviously gone wrong. Then I'll add milk. Now you definitely can't see anything. Watch and learn. This is how real chefs cook. Down with a frying pan, we're going to need a toaster. I'll chop the onion and garlic. Then an avocado. I'll mix it all together. Great. And now I'll use a blender. It turned out great. We need to spread it on the toast. Like that. Now it's the egg time. One will be quite enough. I'll break it into a bowl. And put the bowl in a saucepan with boiling water. That's what a wonderful egg I got. It remains only to serve the dish beautifully. Amazing! 
the final touch. Like that. Wow, it turned out to be really cool. I need to serve a dish too. Ketchup and mussels will do. Honey, are you sure? Ready? We'll see, we'll see. It doesn't look good. Wow, a heart! Grandma, this fried egg is definitely yours. Down with a fork. I want to take it with my hands. Mmm, delicious. Mm. And what do we have here? It looks interesting. And the taste? Mmm, yeah, something strange. Granny definitely won. Oh, grandson, I'm so glad. What are we going to cook this time? Pizza. Okay. Pizza? Something complicated. And how do I cook it? Probably need to knead the dough. Mm, it worked. Or not really. Oh, why is it so sticky? Well, well, I have an idea. Take my dough, dear. Thank you, Grandma. But what about you? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll need a new dough. All you need to do is mix a few ingredients. And I'll pour the finished dough into a hot frying pan. It'll turn out to be a wonderful pizza base. Then I'll pour ketchup and add healthy vegetables. And some cheese. While there, it remains only to wait. Yeah, who cooks pizza like that? Special corn flour is needed for the base. Only professionals like me know this. Then knead the dough. And now we need to form the bases. To do this, let's fly the dough. Wow. Oh, I want it that way too. Come on, fly. Oops, it fell. Well, now it's all dirty. How to fix it? I know, a little disguise won't hurt. A little ketchup. A little bit of olives next. Pepper. And sausages. And now you can fold everything. And of course, press it down. What a nightmare. I wish I hadn't seen it. Down with the vegetables. Tomato paste, pepperoni, and cheese. Nothing superfluous. And now I'll put the pizza in the microwave. Let it bake. It will turn out incredibly good. A microwave oven? The toaster will be enough. I would like to stuff it. Mm, yeah, it didn't turn out how I expected. And I did it perfectly. However, it couldn't be otherwise. Here's my pizza. Here is mine. And my masterpiece. Well, let's try. It seems that someone wanted to poison me. This is terrible. But this looks good. I'll try it. And it tastes pretty good. Wow! Mmm, this pizza is just perfect. And the most delicious one! Who else could have won if not me? Come on! I want pancakes. I'm a pancake master. Easy. I'll make the fire stronger. Great. And now carefully pour out the dough. It is very important to turn it over on time. I don't understand why you should make a lot of small pancakes if you could just make one big one. Besides, an ordinary pancake is boring. But with gummies… It's just great. Mm. Oh, the gummies have melted. Yeah, who would have thought? Okay, I'll make another pancake. This time with M&Ms. And another one with multicolored sprinkles. And I'll pour maple syrup on the pancakes. And they're good. Well, we must not lag behind. I know. If you add Nutella to the dough, the dough will turn out to be chocolate. The main thing is to mix well. And I'll put a piece of chocolate in the center. Great. 
The chocolate is melting right in the center. Turn it over. Wait a little. Great. Berries to decorate pancakes. And now I'll pour strawberry syrup on top. Just wonderful. It looks perfect. Ready? Baked with love. The best pancakes in the world. You like mine the most. That's what we're going to find out. Hmm. Ugh. It's disgusting. And Granny's pancakes? Mmm. Delicious. So, so. What has the chef prepared? Mmm. Great. But Grandma won anyway. Hooray. <laughs> Where do we start? With a hot dog. I can't do that. What's complicated about that? Sausage and bread. <laughs> Grandma, can I borrow some butter from you? What? Thank you. Hey. For the sake of victory, I'll use a lot of butter. Well, let's go. Uh, what? Oh. Bob obviously overdid it with butter. <gasps> What are you doing? You can't throw a sausage there. Ah! Help! The oil is splashing! It's hot! Ah! What have you done? We could have fried everything here. But okay. Why would I waste my precious time on you? I'd rather have a hot dog. Great. It remains only to add sauce. How perfect it is. <laughs> what is that noise? Bob, are you at it again? You can't treat a sausage like that. Why is that? I think it looks delicious. <sighs> you don't understand anything. A hot dog can be made very refined. To do this, you need to cook sausage in batter. We will need eggs, milk, and flour. All this needs to be whipped up like that. And it will also be delicious if you add cheese. You need to put in at the sausage on a skewer. Hmm. It remains only to warm up the oil. You need to roll the sausage in batter and then lower it into boiling oil. Yummy. Of course, we must not forget about sauces. No, I really need sauces! <laughs> hmm. Why waste time? You need to pour okay. everything at once! Done! That's better! Perfect! Okay, let's try it! Bob, I'm definitely not going to eat your filth! But the hot dog in the middle looks delicious! Mmm, simply but very tasty! Hmm. Now I want to try this unusual hot dog. <laughs> wow! It's unrealistically wow. delicious! I've never tasted awesome. such a hot dog before! Chef, you've won! Yeah. Oh, I knew it. That's cool. This time I want to eat delicious pasta. Well, no problem. Okay. It will be done. What? If only I knew how to cook it. But never mind, I'll bake at the others. Hmm? Apparently, you need to start with the spaghetti. <laughs> but I don't understand how I can fit them in a saucepan. Hey. <laughs> huh, it worked. Oh, uh, what have you done? Hmm. You broke them. You just need to wait until they boil so that they fit completely in the pan. Yeah, I think the spaghetti is ready. Mm -hmm. You. Is this spaghetti? No. What? No. They're from the store. I'm going to cook real spaghetti myself. I'll do it very quickly. So I'll definitely win. This is very simple. Oh. Almost done. 
To add sophistication to my pasta, I'll use shrimp and small tomatoes. Bellissimo! What? Grandma, what kind of filth is this? I'm getting sick! Hey, what's happening? Why don't my noodles go on the plate? What should I do now? Oh. Hmm. Okay, I have a great idea. Why not make pasta out of gum? Marmalades and chocolate syrup. Jane, you'll definitely like it. Awesome. Let's try the first portion. Hmm. Uh, ew, I don't like shrimp at all. Let's move on. <laughs> so the next one. Mm -hmm. Okay, the second portion is much better. Mm, yummy. Oh. But what's on the third plate? Mm. Mm. How unusual! Wow! It's cool. very cool! <laughs> yes! I knew I'd win! Wow! What are we going to cook? I want a delicious cocktail. <laughs> Easy. I know the recipe for the most delicious cocktail. You just need to dump all the most delicious and sweet things into the blender. Then a cool cocktail is guaranteed to you. I can already see that it'll be very tasty. Wow. Cool. Almost done. Uh, young people. A cocktail should be healthy. Therefore, I will use only vegetables. I want Jane to be healthy. Everything is green and fresh. Vegetables are super healthy. A perfect cocktail. Come on! You. No. Uh, it even looks disgusting. But I'll make a fruit cocktail right in a watermelon. Yeah! I will use pineapple, kiwi, and even dragon fruit. A little exotic wouldn't hurt. So delicious. And on top of all of this, you can pour coconut milk. Done. Jane, awesome. it's time to try. Let's go. Interesting. Yummy. The first cocktail doesn't look very appetizing. I'm even afraid to try it. Ew, how disgusting. <laughs> well, the second one also looks so-so. And it doesn't smell very good. Okay. I smell broccoli! Oh! Gross. No! <gasps> but this cocktail looks very cool! Something tells me that I will really like it! Hmm, so it is! It's just unrealistically delicious! Both tasty and healthy! What are we going to cook this time? Come on! A cake! Okay. With pleasure. First, you need to make cream. To do this, I will use egg whites and sugar. And we need to stir it up well. Just look at how appetizing it looks. Wow. But we must not forget about decor. Then the cake will be both beautiful and delicious. Okay, strawberry is perfect. Bob, what are you waiting for? Come on! That's right! I have chocolate syrup! And everyone loves chocolate! And I also want to make a filling in the form of marmalade ears! <gasps> oh! And that's mm. not all! I will also use strawberry syrup and Skittles candies. Hmm, I think it's cool. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it turned out to be a terrible mess. I'm going to show you how real cakes are made. With the help of a ball and liquid caramel, you need to make a base. Done. Uh -huh. Now you can put small cakes and various decorations on it. Berry, syrup, sprinkles, everything will come in handy. Jane, you're going to love it. <laughs> That's done. Wow! Wow! The cake looks like in a restaurant! And it tastes just unreal! Okay. Hmm, the first cake is also very tasty. And the third cake is just amazing! I like this one the most. Really? All right, I won! <laughs> Subscribe to Rapa Pot, then you will definitely not miss the same delicious and fun challenges!